Kenyan parliamentarians last night elected nine representatives to the 4th East African Legislative Assembly. The new members will be sworn in on Monday in Arusha to set off the assembly that has been in limbo since June this year. Patrick Amimo tells us who made it and who fell by the wayside. Kenya's bicameral parliament reserved Thursday afternoon sitting for election of members to the East African Legislative Assembly through a secret ballot. Kenya was the only country being awaited to send their nominees to the regional parliament to kickstart its legislative agenda. The counting of votes from the 25 candidates from both Jubilee and NASA, who had been cleared for the polls, extended late into the night. The final tally was announced a few minutes after 11 p.m. Former Kamukunji MP Simon Bugwa led the Jubilee cluster with 286 votes and was followed by Florence Yamatia, who garnered 252 votes. Former Tigania East MP Mpuri Aburi was third with 208 votes and was followed by former Mandela North MP Adam Mohamed Noru, who garnered 102 votes. Former Nyandarua County Woman MP Wanjiku Mohia emerged fifth with 180 votes to complete the five slots reserved for Jubilee Party at Iala. From the NASA coalition, Kennedy Kalonzo, who is the son of NASA co-principal Kalonzo Musioka, led the pack with 309 votes. Oburu Odinga, the elder brother to NASA co-principal Raila Odinga, was second with 243 votes. Former Mbalambala MP Abdikadir Aden garnered 235 votes, while former Wajia County woman MP Fatuma Ibrahim got 142 votes to complete the four slots reserved for NASA at Iala. We do not have regional balancing. We have around three candidates from Northeastern uh, who now will go represent Kenya. And the rest are picked from areas that uh, uh, probably was a reward for either kinsmanship or a reward based on politics, but not a strong representation of the people of Kenya within Iala. Uh, I made sure that I actually talked to everybody, uh, persuading them actually to vote for me because of the achievements that I've, I've had uh, in the previous, uh, in the, in, in, in the previous uh, uh, time when I was a member of parliament. 36-year-old Florence Yamatia from Baringo County was third overall and floored some candidates considered big wigs. Yes, who is Yamatia? I have been a very aggressive girl in terms of uh, pushing and understanding what I want many times politically. I don't believe politics is, um, is meant for few people. And I don't believe in dynasty so much. Jamatia uh, again is a student of uh, political science, schooled in University of Nairobi. I've uh, done uh, all through in the University of Nairobi. I also have a, a family. On the other side of my work, I have worked closely with the political parties. I started with uh, U UDM. It grew to URP. I was among the, um, the directors there. And I consistently worked as a volunteer for probably six years, six to almost eight years. Uh, no salary, nothing. The candidates shared some of their campaign winning strategies. You know, when I was in parliament, everybody knows me from Tavori because I was working with them. The ones, the people who are fighting to me, I get them, we sit down with them, we reconcile, then I start working with them together. Now that's why I say, I tell them to vote for me. Actually, uh, it was intense lobbying, and uh, we had uh, to lobby from the NASA side and uh, also the Jubilee side. Um, I'm humbled and, you know, I appreciate all the support I've been given. And, you know, I want to thank the people of Kenya, all those people who are praying for me, and, you know, the members from both sides of the floor. Uh, I worked so hard, actually. I just consistently campaigned. And uh, I appreciate the MPs so much because they accommodated my, you know, all the time, pushing, asking for votes. For the first time, all the nine Kenyan MPs to Iala will be new faces. The people who should be able to stand up against Magufuli's way of doing things are the Iala members. Do they have the capacity to do that? I'll tell you, no. They do not know which foreign minister to go to. They do not know which of it. But if we had a continuing member, it would have been much better than what we have. Mine is to make a difference. And wherever I go, even in Kamukunji, people know that wherever I am, I try and make a difference. The MPs say they'll hit the ground running any agenda to do with the youth and youth opportunities and empowerment. We need to devise a way whereby if members 
uh, were there and there were bills which were there, we need actually to take uh, over from them. Because once a member is not elected, then uh, those bills, they become obsolete. And we Kenyans, we are not Tanzanians to come in Kenya, invest in Kenya, do everything in Kenya, and we don't ask them anything. But even to Tanzania, it's a must you get the permit, it's a must you give them 50% of the shares. Some of the other time they chase you away with your properties. That's why I'm saying that I will defend Kenyans when I'm in, in Tanzania. And the trade uh, base is automatically going to grow, especially for Kenya. Uh, I also want to look as a youth uh, to try and empower young uh, East Africans, especially Kenya, where I come from, so that, you know, we, we, when we remove those small uh, barriers here and there, we are able to let people go. And growing means exposure. Uh, people are able to travel and come back. They are able to do and invest. The fourth regional assembly will be inaugurated next week, Monday, in Arusha, Tanzania. Top on the agenda during the week-long first sitting is the swearing-in of members, election of the speaker, and that of members to the IALA Commission and constitution of various committees. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.